Fabian has a lot of marbles. He keeps them in three types of boxes. He has four big boxes. He can fill each box with 1,000 marbles. He also has three smaller boxes. He fills each smaller box with 100 marbles. He has seven more smaller boxes. These boxes can only hold 10 marbles. Finally, he has six marbles in his hand. Let's help Fabian count his marbles. To help him, we must know about place value. Place value helps us to understand the value of numbers. Place value tells us which numbers are ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Fabian has four boxes of thousands. We put four at the place value of thousands. He has three boxes of hundreds marbles. We put three at the place value of hundreds. He has seven small boxes of tens. So we put seven at the place value of tens. He has six marbles in his hand. So we put six at the place value of ones. Fabian has four thousands, three hundreds, seven tens, and six ones. It is four thousand, three hundred, and seventy-six. Each digit in the number has a place value and a digit value. Digit six. Place value is ones and digit value is six. Digit seven. Place value is tens and digit value is 70. Digit three. Place value is hundreds and digit value is 300. Digit four. Place value is thousands and digit value is 4,000. Digit five at ones has a value of five. Digit five, when it enters the house of tens, the value of five is 50. Digit five, when it enters the house of hundreds, the value of five becomes 500. Digit five, when it enters the house of thousands, the value changes to 5,000. Let's look at this number. The place value of five is thousands, and the digit value is 5,000. The place value of six is hundreds, and the digit value is 600. Let's look at the extended form of the place value and digit value. 5,634 has four ones, three tens, six hundreds, and five thousands. 5,634 equals five thousands plus six hundreds plus three tens plus four ones. We need to partition the numbers below. So when we partition numbers, what we're doing is showing the value of each digit. And we usually represent a partition number as an addition. So first, we have 5,371. This five is in our thousands place, so that represents 5,000. That's five followed by three zeros, because notice in our number, after the five, we have three digits. Now this three is in our hundreds, so that represents 300. Three followed by two zeros, because we have two digits after the three. This seven in our tens stands for 70, and this one in our ones just stands for one. So if we add 5,370 and one, we will get the number 5,371. So now, let's do the same for 1,735. This one is in our thousands, so that's 1,000. 
This 7 is in our hundreds, so that stands for 700. This 3 in our tens stands for 30, and this 5 in our ones stands for 5. Now, 3035. We can see that in our thousands place we have a 3, so that's 3000. But now, onto our hundreds place, we have a 0. Now when we partition numbers, we don't usually partition zeros, and that's because whatever place value it's in, the value of a zero is always just zero. Zeros don't have any value in themselves, they just give the other digits in the number the right place value. So because we have a zero in our hundreds, we know that this three represents three thousand. This three is in our thousands. So, because we don't need to partition zeros, we can move on to this 3 that's in our tens. So that stands for 30, and then this 5 in our ones just stands for 5. Now, 8808. This 8 in our thousands stands for 8000. We have an 8 in our hundreds, so that's 800. We have a 0 in our tens, so we don't need to partition that, and then we have an 8 in our 1s, which just stands for 8. So let's take a look at the numbers we've partitioned a bit more closely. First, we partitioned 5,371. So we knew that this 5 was in the thousands, so stands for 5,000. This 3 in our hundreds, we can show 300 blocks. This 7 is in our tens, so we can show 7 tens, and this 1 in our ones just represents 1. We can also show the partition using place value counters. So this 5 in our thousands means that we can show 5,000 place value counters. We can show 3 hundreds, 7 tens, and 1 1. And we'll be using place value counters quite a lot, so it's good to get familiar with the representation now. Then we have the number 1735. So that's 1000, 700s, 310s, and 5 ones. Or using place value counters, we can show 1000, 700s, 310s, and 5 ones. Then we had 3035. So using base 10 blocks, we can show 3000s. We don't show any hundreds, we show three tens and five ones. Or using place value counters, there's three thousands, no hundreds, three tens and five ones. Our last number was 8808. So for this eight, we can show 8000 blocks. For this eight here in our hundreds, we can show 800 blocks. We don't show any tens, and then we just need to show eight ones. So that's 8,808. Or using place value counters, we can show eight thousands, eight hundreds, no tens, and eight ones.